hi welcome to another video so in this video uh, we will see how we can create and push a NuGet package using a YAML pipeline and we will also use the Azure artifact feed so here are the things that we will do in this video so first we will create a new YAML pipeline for a .NET application that is already present on Azure repos and then we will create and version a NuGet package through YAML pipeline and then we will create a new Azure artifact feed and we will publish on that NuGet package to the artifact feed. And then we will see how we can use that artifact feed uh, in a separate .NET application uh, using Visual Studio. And we will also see how to update the NuGet package through YAML pipeline. And here are the prerequisites. So you will need an Azure account and basic understanding of Azure DevOps and knowledge of how to upload a .NET solution on Azure DevOps repos. So here I have an initial setup. So this is a .NET class library application. This is a simple file logger application uh, which I have uploaded on Azure repos. So if we see the code, it has only one class uh, with one function which will log the message and create a new file on this path. I have a unit test also. So if I run this unit test, it should create a new file and log this message into that file. So here it has created this file and it has logged the message. Now we will create a new YAML pipeline for this uh, repository and see how we can create a NuGet package for this .NET class library application. Now let's create a new pipeline for this repository. So I'll click on new pipeline. Select Azure repos. From here I will select the file app logger. Select ASP.NET. Now for the VM image, I will change it to Windows 2019. Now by default, Azure will create this new YAML pipeline with NuGet installer and a VS build command. And another task is for running the unit test. So we can remove the VS test task. And since we have a unit test in our project, so we will need the NuGet installer and the NuGet command to download the MS test NuGet packages. So here in unit test, uh, we have these two NuGet packages. That's why we will need these two tasks. So I will save this. And I will run the pipeline. Here we can see that our basic pipeline has uh, successfully built the VS solution. Now uh, let's edit this pipeline to add a new task uh, for creating a NuGet package. So click here. And from the tasks, I'll select new get task we will select the pack command so this command takes the path of the cs proj file and it will save the new get package into the artifacts staging directory and we don't have to change any other options uh, so for now we will keep the automatic package versioning off and we will version the package using variables in pipeline so i'll add this Let's correct the indentation. I will name the task as create new get package and we will add the destination where we will save the package. So package destination is build dot artifact staging directory and for versioning we will use versioning scheme as by environment and we have to provide the value of the version variable 
so for now let's call it nuget version now we have to add some variables here let's create one variable for major version specify the value 1 and another variable for minor version specify the value 0 and for revision I will use the command So what it will do is it will increase the value of the minor variable whenever we run the pipeline and for NuGet version variable we will specify the value as major dot minor we also need to create a variable uh, to hold the project name so I'll create as NuGet project name so I'll provide file app logger here. So this variable we will use in the pack command. Otherwise, uh, this NuGet command will create a NuGet package for uh, our class library and our unit test also. So we only want to create the NuGet package for file app logger uh, library and not the unit test. I'll use the variable here. Now let's save the pipeline. And now run the pipeline. So as we can see here, the pipeline has successfully created a NuGet package. Now let's add a task to publish this package to an artifact feed. Now before creating a task to publish the NuGet package to an artifact feed, we have to create a new feed under artifacts. So go to artifacts, click on create feed, provide a name for a new feed. Keep the other options as it is and click on create. So this will create a new feed. Now we will use this feed into our pipeline. Now let's add another task to publish our NuGet package. So again go to tasks, type NuGet, select NuGet task from here and from the command select push. Now it will automatically take the path of the artifact staging directory where we have already published a package and from target feed we have to select our newly created feed. So I'll select this, keep the other options as it is and click on add. It will add this task into the pipeline and this is the GUID of our Azure artifact feed that we have created. So now let's save the pipeline. And click on run. So the pipeline has successfully executed. And we can see here that it has published uh, our NuGet package to the feed. Now go to the feed and refresh. So here we can see our NuGet package. Now we will see how we can use this NuGet package into Visual Studio in another solution. To use this NuGet package uh, into Visual Studio in another solution, uh, we have to do two things. First, uh, we have to connect to this feed from Visual Studio so that this feed will act as a source uh, for the NuGet package. So click on connect to feed. Click on Visual Studio and copy this URL. And now go to Visual Studio. We will create a new console application on .NET Framework. Click Next. Let's name the project as 
demo file app new bit select the dotnet framework as 4.8 and click on create now after creating the new solution we will add the connect to feed url in visual studio so go to tools nuget package manager manage nuget packages for solution click on settings click on add so here i will provide the url that we have copied from devops portal to connect to the feed and give it a name as azure nuget feed click on okay now go to browse Select the Azure NuGet feed here and you should be able to see the file app logger NuGet package. Now we will just install this NuGet package. Now this is successfully installed. Now go to program.cs and we will use this NuGet package in this application now. In the file app logger NuGet package, uh, we had a function called log to file. So we will now call this function in our console app. So for that, use file app logger not logger dot log to file, and we can provide a test message here. Now, if we run this app, it should log this message into our log file, uh, which we created earlier. So I'll run this. Now go to our temp log folder. And here we can see that the message has been logged. So this is how we can create a NuGet package through YAML pipeline and use it in a separate solution through Azure NuGet feed. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.